Ah, welcome back to a door cream prints videos. Prints of a difference. All right, um, this is just a quick one because we're about to enter 1982, and um, as you know, 1982 is one of my favourite years of prints. It's also by far one of his biggest years, and we've been pretty quick to deal out Dirty Mind, the time and controversy. But 1982 is a different kettle of fish, and it's not going to be. Now I've decided I want to make shorter videos, so I'm not going to do 25, 26 minute epics, but First of all, I just need to take care of some unfinished business, and this is officially for you, Mr. Ransom. Do me, baby. Don't want to do it alone. Oh, I want you now. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Do me, baby. Ooh, do me, baby. Do me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! Do me, baby. Don't want to do it alone. Ooh, I want you now. Yeah! Oh, you! Yes, there you are. There's my proper do me baby with scream not cracking. I just can't get enough of it. I mean, I loved Mr. Rance, your singing and willing and able. I'm ready to place my cards on the table, table. Be holding back this feeling for far too long. Holding back this feeling for far too long. And now that I'm willing, this effect is truly mighty strong. Who I what willing, willing, able, able. I'm with my vision is so clear. I'm feeling kind of stable. I know I am. You make me want to whisper, whisper. Now what you say, you make me want to shout, shout. Or what you say, you make me want to scream. Yeah, I want to say, you want to say, out oh, I'm willing. So there you are. There's some singing for you. Right. Seriously, 1982. A lot of shit happened in that year. You know, and um, I can't just do it at once. I'm going to do five videos. Get that five videos, all right? The first video... It's going to be a background. It's basically going to be probably the biggest one. It's basically going to be what time is it? And I'm going to review the living fuck out of that album. I mean, I just love all the throwaway lines. I mean, one of my favorite lines on one of the lesser tracks, one day I'm going to be somebody, somebody bring me a mirror so I can look at my cash. That just had me in tears of laughter. So you're going to do that first. Okay, video two, 1999. As you know, I'm going about Sign of the Times. Like it's the greatest thing ever made. 1999 is the second greatest thing ever made. So the first 1999 video will be the boring one. I'm going to talk about how the album was made, who made it, what when the songs came in, and all that stuff. The second video about 1999 will be the review of the album tracks. And I might even get out my record and play some. Okay. Third video is going to be about basically selling the concept to the world, about how it started off, where you know it came out with a whimper. 1999, the single initially only got to number 45 on the charts. But then MTV picked it up, Little Red Corvette came out, and then the Triple Threat Tour kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then finally, by the end of 1983, when Prince was in a position where the album had gone double platinum, and he was in a position where Warners gave him the green light to go ahead and make Purple Rain. Okay, so that's your fourth video. Fifth video, I said I wasn't going to do this, but it's going to be basically called Everything Else in 82. I'm going to talk about Vanity 6, I'm going to talk about The Second Coming, and just some of the absolute plethora of unreleased masterpieces that Prince did in 1982. That includes like some of the tracks for the Jill Jones album, um, songs like Turn It Loose and um, Purple Music, and it's just going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully you can all hang around set. Now, I'm not going to leave you completely hanging in this video today. I went to the record store, and because things are going so well, um, probably again I'm a bit behind the eight ball with this, but what I had noticed, I didn't think these would even be sold here in New Zealand, but when I saw them, I jumped at them. They, didn't, they were not cheap, but here you go. I managed to get the vinyls of these albums. Now these are beautiful. I'm going to show you what's inside. I know these things are bloody expensive, but I bought them anyway. And there's a little extra That's Musicology for you. I am going to show you what the records look like. So in Musicology, they've turned the booklet into like one cover insert. There's actually two records of Musicology. Okay, these are what the vinyl look like for all the albums. Now, isn't this beautiful? Look at this purple marble vinyl. I'm scared to play these things, basically. And, um, just wow, okay. So Musicology and 3121 are two record sets, basically. So they cost more. I don't know what they cost in pounds, euros, or dollars. But in New Zealand dollars, they cost lots, okay. Um, Musicology and 3121, here's 3121 for you, were 64.99 in New Zealand dollars each, okay. This is the insert. Again, isn't that beautiful? That's, remember, that's the house. Um, what was his name? I think his name was Carlos Boozer. Prince hired the house. He did it up and... Prince apparently got sued because he put 31, 21 pillows everywhere and had fucking pedals in the bathtub and all this other shit. See, this is what the records look like. There's two of them. The other one's got a purple cover again. Show it to you. Absolutely beautiful purple marble vinyl. It's thick vinyl as well. It's like the 180 GSM stuff, you know. 
Normally I wouldn't buy this type of thing, but I just thought, you know, I want to treat myself. They're beautiful. And here is 3121. And the joy of this one is to have left the original plastic on with these stickers. Now the funny thing about the stickers was that my 3121 copy actually had the sticker for Musicology, which was quite weird. So I don't have a 3121 sticker. If anyone's got one, I'll show me what it looks like here. And you apparently can download the album too on this, but I've already got the CD. So again, this is beautiful. So you've got the holographic cover for Planet Earth. Now because this is just a single record, it wasn't $64.99, it was only $46.99, which still is quite a lot of money. I mean, British pounds, $46.99, that's about 25 quid and about oh, 45 Australian dollars, about, uh, what's the 65? It's about 27, 28 euros and about um, 30 British, I mean, 30 American bucks, basically, and about oh, 3,500 yen, basically. So there you are, I love that, you know, um, picture of prints like the CD. And again, look at that absolutely gorgeous marbled vinyl. So what do you guys think? Um, the door cream did it. He bought, went out and bought the expensive records. So there you are. That's a quick one for you. 1982 and delicious vinyl. And do me, baby. Don't want to do it alone. Ooh, won't you? Yeah. I just can't get that song out of my brain. I mean, Mr. Ants, you should have got me when you were recording your version of Willing and Able because I could have provided the harmony, but you couldn't do I could have done the Rosie vocal. You're like, you know, I'm ready to whisper, whisper for what you say. So there you go. All right. So purple blessings to you all. I love you all, my purple family. Special shout outs to everyone. They know who they are. Prince's friend. Peace, love and prince. Uh, Mr. Ants. Nightchild. Man, well, Nightchild, you've been spinning fire lately. You've been doing so many videos. I love it. You know, and yeah. So there you go. Peace and be well.